Hello everyone, The Structure here, and in this video, I'm going to be discussing the 2024 station update teaser trailer thing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm trying something new. I want to do this like live editing style kind of thing. So, we're just going to see how we get along with it, and if you guys enjoy it, I'll keep doing this kind of content. So, let's get ahead, and let's jump in. So, right off the bat, we have this the ship so the ship is the thing that is being presented first now what does the ship do we've got no idea obviously but it seems like a ship that you might get from like maybe a side quest or maybe an expedition that might drop alongside the update so i mean we don't necessarily know what's going on with this we don't know what it is it's got like the anomaly decals and everything but that's also appearing on the stations so we're not sure exactly what this is going to be and how you obtain it but i'm sure it's not going to be a difficult thing in the slightest um another thing that you can see is right here you can see that there is a stand or like a desk that you can go to and there's an npc there and not only just there there's also one right here if you can see where i'm pointing so with that in mind there is more to this than we think obviously so we have these two desks here and these two desks obviously provide some kind of maybe it's a mission agent revamp hopefully i would love to have that and i would love to see that be added in the game it would be a very good thing for the game because missions definitely need a rebalance so we'll see now above that we have the kiosks so we have this one right here which is for starship upgrades and you can see that they are facing the opposite direction like towards this window over here you can see that over there but they have kiosks going across here and there's this one too which is also an exosuit kiosk so it's very interesting one is looking in the other direction and the other one is looking in the correct direction i don't know what's going on there that might just be like a weird like artifact thing that they must have done or must have not fixed for the trailer kind of strange really strange but it is what it is it might just be that they're supposed to face that way we don't know so i'm gonna continue this and of course these use the beautiful textures you can see the ship is unfolding it's got this really nice animation now before we pause or before we continue i want to show you guys this area over here so we have these little things here that are stacked upon each other. I don't necessarily know what those are. They might just be set dressing, but we also have this right here, this terminal, or it seems to be like a room more so, and it has flags here. And those flags could mean different things. It could just be that it's an exocraft, like upgrade technician system thing, like how we have in the game currently, where it's like you have the different kiosks, with exosuits, ships, exocraft, and multi-tools. We don't see a multi-tool one here, but we do see the ship and exosuit one. So my theory is that this is either an exocraft technician or this is some sort of guild assembly system, like a guild or a clan or, you know, like how in Destiny. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And also, if you look right here, we also have a salvage trade terminal, or I guess it's not trade terminal. You just salvage your ship here. And it seems to be like a pretty cool thing that they're adding. It's definitely a lot more high tech than the one that we have in the game. That's just kind of like sitting on a specific area in the station. It does have a lot more detail and that's very nice to see. Now, <laughs> the biggest change here that you can probably see is the station core the station core looks incredibly different i actually thought they would have kept the station core as the same design you know with the like the huge cords and everything apparently not apparently they're switching it up and maybe there might be even more variation to the station cores this might just be one out of possibly multiple maybe we can see like not just like these square ones maybe we could see rectangular ones triangular ones 
you know, like how the different stations are. So maybe we'll see. Another thing that I wanted to point out is this entire interior is very, very high tech. I mean, you just look at it and you can see everything here is incredibly high tech. Like these kiosks here, the station core, and like these extrusions going across. Like, it's really crazy. It's actually kind of nuts. So, there's definitely a theme here. This is the same, like, textures and theme that they brought to the freighters in Endurance back in summer of 2022. And it seems to be a common theme that they want to go for, where they are bringing, like, this new cyberpunk Blade Runner type of feel to the game, but it's more high-tech and advanced you know to really give that science fiction vibe which is awesome it looks great and you can definitely tell by the entire station it looks fantastic so i wanted to also point this out because this is something that n not a lot of people caught on on i think caught on on i don't know what that was about but <laughs> okay see this is the problem with live editing or live recording for me is i stumble my words and this stuff happens but there is a back window that spans all across the back. So we don't see these ever. We haven't seen a large back window even when they were leaked back then. That's the thing that caught me the most was the fact that there is a massive window in the back. What does this mean? <laughs> Probably just a nice, you know, decorative interior thing that you can see through the exterior. That might just be the only thing, but I mean, it is what it is. So we'll see. And of course, the landing pads have also had a nice, beautiful touch up to them. They These textures, whoever their texture artist is, they need an absolute raise. They definitely do. There's also these like... There's also these switches here. I mean, I don't think you can really see them that much, but they're like switches here. I don't necessarily know what's going on there, but there's one here and then there's one here. Now, that could just be like, again, set dressing. So it could just be like a set dressing or maybe it has some kind of function. Maybe you could, it's like, I don't, I don't really know what it could be. To be honest, it could just be set dressing like maybe that's all it is because a lot of these things are set dressing and it's just to make the thing look much better um now as we look at this too we have these like neon signs and these neon signs also do give off that cyberpunk-esque vibe and it looks very solid there's also the station core terminal now, why is it still there? My theory is that these are still here because it must be for some kind of lore or station ownership, or it could just be that they're, you know, bringing it back to reuse past mechanics like the forged passport, maybe the station override. I'm not necessarily thinking that's gonna be the case but if the station override is gonna have a use it's gotta be this update it has to be so i don't necessarily know what's going on but hopefully the station override gets a use i pray to god that it does now i'm gonna go here frame by frames till i get a nice look you can see back here that is a base terminus that is a teleporter so there is a teleporter there and it seems to be like right under or like right below this platform here so i think i don't know do you guys think that the stations are going to be modular like i'm not talking exterior i'm talking interior this is mainly for the interior because we know a lot about the exteriors maybe the exteriors could be modular i don't think so i feel like interiors have a m bigger potential to be modular but if it's not and this is like the final design then i guess you know this is pretty cool this is a nice look 
but if they are modular that would be pretty awesome i'm not gonna lie so you got your ships here there are seven landing pads spanning across the entire station and yeah i mean i don't know i think we have like what 12 landing pads somewhere around that number so this is less how are we going to get more if can we get more that's the thing there's so many questions that i'm i i have about this update that we probably won't get an answer to until the update arrives so unless maybe something is data mined i just can't see it happening now of course we have the right side which the right side is covered in motion blur you can't see anything over there but you can see the top here again giving off that very nice very sleek high-tech look and as we go outward here you can see there's even more to it like they definitely put a lot of detail you can see some leds there and of course you can see like over here there is like these little markings i think that's pretty cool that's pretty cool and you just go you just keep going out and there's even more detail and there's definitely a theme here there's like some symbols on the side here you can see there there's like some symbols here it's kind of hard to see but there are symbols and i don't necessarily know what's up with that but there are symbols and i think it might just be like you are now entering the station and you're now leaving the station something like that i don't know where we don't usually see the front of our ship exiting in gameplay but we'll see also i gotta say again the ship here it just looks immaculate it's so damn beautiful i can't wait to get this ship because when it is once out it's my ship i'm calling it it's my main ship it looks beautiful and you know there's not really much here but you can see the like i guess the entrance design that also begs me to wonder how the design of the entrance is going to affect the station's interior because you can see here it's kind of like an odd design how it's like it kind of has this like cube look to it going around but then here it just is a straight plane so maybe maybe the entrances like the design of it might have some unique distinct differences like the triangular pattern and this one the cube pattern and the circle pattern you know like it's got these different patterns but how is it going to affect the overall like interior entrance like the corridor so i don't know i i think it, to me the interiors might have some variety because I'm thinking this isn't the only one. Like, I have a gut feeling that's telling me this isn't the only interior. Because we've seen a lot of exteriors, but we don't necessarily know what they look like now. Because obviously, a, a ton of time has passed. I believe a year has passed. Kind of crazy. Wow, time flies. Time absolutely flies. But as we exit the station, you can see there's like these decals up top and there's these procedurally generated colored patterns on the metal here which is absolutely amazing and i show that off on one of my live streams and it it's really cool because there's no patterns with it it looks great and you can see the overall design here and it just it's it looks phenomenal this one has a a triple halo ring style thing and you can see this this place is loaded with lens flares. Loaded with lens flares. And this place has so many like little micro lights, lens flares, like I said, and just plenty of thrusters and engine exhausts. It's, th these are very detailed. And it's gonna be even more detailed when they actually come into the game. So this gives you an entire shot of the station. It's like this nice, black white and red very nice color scheme coming from a guy who's literally filled with black and red uh it's a very nice design and then you see the fragment of a new atlantid outside the station with this new ship i have a theory about that 
And I think that the fact that the fragment of a new Atlantid is there is pointing towards the the idea like saying, hey, this this is a indicator to say, hey, this is the last part of the ARG. This is a, this is like the indication before the update actually comes out to say, hey, this is part four. You've seen it in part three and part two. Here's a reminder so you know that this is about part four. This is the last part of the ARG. And that's why I think the stations are, are going to have some differences. They have to have some differences. So I'm going to speculate a bit after we're done, you know, checking out the video. And I think we're actually at the end. So you have an Outlaw Dreadnought here, which also uses those nice high quality textures. Very amazing. Very solid stuff. It's absolutely beautiful and of course no man's sky the entire key art at its finest you see it at the end of every trailer it's very nice so now i'm gonna get into my thoughts and see exactly what i can come up with so here's what i think this all means so of course this is part four of the arg and i think that what they're gonna be doing and i hope this doesn't sound too outlandish because i really hope that this is like a true thing but it doesn't seem like it's you know too far-fetched so i think that they are you know using the stations as not only like hey we're gonna refresh them we're gonna make them look better but we're also gonna give them a much bigger purpose for newer players not necessarily end game players i think this is going to be more so of a thing for newer players so whenever they you know discover the they who return quest line and you know the autophage lore then this is like a kind of a big shock to the people who are playing and getting through that quest line what i mean by that is part four must have some sort of mission to where you have to go to the station you interact with a station core you do things with the station and you investigate around it and then once you're done with that you encounter the fragment of a new atlantid and something in you uses the station core or maybe the fragment of a new atlantid gives you a station override because remember this is contraband it's considered contraband and it's a very it's it's full of ai codes so as we know, that ship, which is the Fragment of a New Atlantid, is a ship full of AI souls, potentially. And this might sound outlandish, like I said, but think about it. What if the Station Override is the Fragment of a New Atlantid AI codes that are inside of that Fragment of a New Atlantid ship? You know, the anomaly that you encounter in the They Who Return questline and in the Singularity Expedition? That's the ship full of AI souls. So what if you take those AI souls and their code, put them in the station override, you override the station core, and those AI souls use the station core, and not to not only just the station core, but they use the entire station. Remember, these stations have engines. What if you insert the override and the engines start firing up and it transports you into the void? That might sound too outlandish. Don't set that as an expectation. Here's why. Let's say the station core is nothing but a facade. <laughs> it's just there to trick you into thinking you can actually use it at some point, which maybe you will, maybe you won't, who knows? So maybe let's just set it as the station update is nothing but cosmetics. Let's just set that as our expectation and nothing more because I can guarantee you if we are able to, you know, expect things like that, then maybe it might happen. And, you know, if we expect things that seem like so bare bones, maybe if they do actually bring something big with the update, then we could be surprised. So let's think about it like that. So just set your expectations low, like always and don't overhype this. Let's not drive a community hype train anymore. Let's just wait, wait it out. Then once we see what's in the update, that's when we get excited. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. 
Hopefully you like this new format. I may have to do some editing here and there, like add a, add a track or whatever, but I'm trying to keep the edits down to a minimal because I can tell that it's getting a bit repetitive, too much editing is happening, and it leads to hours of editing, and it just prevents me from being able to upload on time. So let's see how this works. Let's see how it goes. And, you know, as I keep practicing this style, it'll get better over time. And eventually things might change for the better. Anyway, I hope you're having a great 2024. And here's to an amazing year for Nomad Sky.